at uh, Dan Savage or LandoMagic.com. Cliff, in the, in the closing moments of the last uh, two games, your group's come up with some big plays. W what did you see out of, out of your group in the, in the final moments down the stretch of this one? Well, I think both nights has been creating, uh, you know, we've, we've gotten some easy uh, breakouts and stuff off our defense. And that's, you know, it was the big key last night. And while watching the film, you know, the turnover game, obviously, we scored 35 points off their turnovers. So and James Ennis obviously was at the was at the forefront of that. Uh, I know we had at halftime, we had 28 deflections, which is a ton. And uh, we had 18 in the second quarter. So I don't know what we finished with, but that's going to be, you know, that's going to be our chance to become, you know, a chance to win and play consistently. Josh Robbins, the Athletic. Steve, given how uh, little time there has been to adjust, how impressive is the way that Wendell is playing? Uh, very, like very, very. I mean, he's smart. He's got good instincts. Uh, he has a chance defensively. Watch him. I mean, he can really move his feet. His lateral quickness is, uh, I would say, exceptional. His instincts of, uh, like, when to attack the ball, when to drop, get back to his man. And obviously he's got a basket protection component. But, you know, tonight, I mean, he had, he had a big blitz that we got to steal off. Uh, he had another good blitz. Um, and, uh, no, he's, he, you know, you can see, again, you know, it's, it's three games, but I couldn't be more, you know, pleased with, uh, you know, with what he's doing already. Paul Casanova, EDF Sports. Hi, Cliff. Um, last I checked, I think it was a year 13 of 17 on uh, challenges. Can you tell us a little bit about what goes into making a challenge when, when, when you get well, I to use the staff. I mean, I think everybody does. We have the, we have the uh, uh, iPad or whatever right on the bench. So they look at it immediately. And then usually it's Dylan Murphy. I mean, he wasn't here tonight, so it was Lionel Chalmers. But that was... They all saw it. He, you know, he said it was a clean block, and that was a big play, obviously, because uh, you know they would have been at the line, and then we got the jump ball. So it was, uh, it was a good play. Dan Savage, OrlandoMagic.com. Cliff, we we spoke going into it about the difficult situation it would be without without Michael Carter Williams tonight. How did the how did the two point guards uh, handle the situation, in in your opinion? Uh. I think as well as we could have hoped for both of them. I thought RJ played really well, and uh, and Jason, obviously, Jason got it. You know, we we were in a hole there early, and he got us out of it in the first quarter. Um, and uh, you know, obviously playing big minutes, and uh, you know, I don't know what his numbers are, but uh, six rebounds. I mean, I thought they both played very well. Go ahead, Dan. Cliff, we, we spoke about it after the trade, you know, and I think you'd mentioned a lot of people counted you out for for wins, uh, you know, after the trade was made for for this group to come together this quickly and pull off two wins in the middle of a road trip. Just just how pleased are you with that? Yeah, and happy for them, because I think, you know, it's it, you know, it gives us a chance to grow here uh, in a more timely manner. You know, I mean, no matter what, these guys are prideful and um you know, they understand we have to play well in order to have a chance to win every night. And uh, they've been very, you know, it's funny to say now they're working hard because, you know, you, we don't really practice and do a lot, but they're playing hard and they're competing hard. Uh, and we have guys who are making big plays. So, um, no, it's, it's been good. And, and I'm glad that, that the guys are being rewarded for the approach that they've taken. Josh Robbins, The Athletic. Chuma didn't score many points, but he seemed to do everything else, uh, including that big steal late in the game. Uh, what what has he been? What did he contribute tonight? Uh, I would say that. I mean, you know, I, he had a big steal. He had a good one on one stop um, late in the game in the fourth quarter. He had the little turnaround jumper down in front of the bench that cut it from four to two. So. Um, I mean, again, he did a lot, you know, 10 rebounds, four assists. I mean, he did a lot of good things. Thank you, Cliff.